Why the heck aren't there more horn speakers? We should start a campaign. <laughs> let's, let's run placards around. We need more horn speakers. I'm sure that would uh, draw a generous crowd. Um, th this question comes from Dayton in Englewood, Florida. And Dayton writes, there seems to be a resurgence in horn-loaded, super-efficient loudspeakers, like 100 dB plus. Um, and the emphasis is being on dynamic range as the main draw, allowing one to listen at even low levels to get a satisfying sound, but capable of making your ears bleed. Uh, and and is, this is, is stupid, in, if you're stupid enough to play it that loud. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, that's not, not a feature I'd put on the side of the box. <clears throat> With bigger and bigger homes, why aren't there more fully loaded horn speakers on the market? I think one of the reasons is they generally are not accepted as being quite as good as a non-horn loaded speakers. So a horn is a means of combining a mechanical driver with an acoustic amplifier. And when we first started out with, with audio years ago, we didn't have much in the way of efficient drivers and we certainly didn't have very powerful amplifiers. One, two, three watts, that was about all we had. And so we had to come up with a way to make them louder. And we did that by creating a horn. And that horn, just like horns that you use over here to your ear to amplify you know, whatever's coming in, does the same thing. It's just when I do this with my voice, it broadcasts out a louder sound. So it's an acoustic amplifier mostly needed way back when, when we didn't have much in the way of amplifier power. Today, we got plenty of amplifier power. I mean, PS Audio makes the M1200, it's a 1200 watt amplifier, and I defy any speaker to, <laughs> to use up anywhere close to the M1200's uh, uh, power output. I mean, it just you're not gonna do it, right? So it isn't a matter of watts anymore. Now, to your point about dynamics, there, there is something to that in that when you have a speaker that is particularly efficient, 98 dB, 99, 100, somewhere around in that, um, you have the potential with any amplifier for quite a big dynamic range that's fairly effortless. And, and, but you can achieve that without the acoustic amplifier. So I've always been a little flummoxed when it comes to that because I don't particularly like the sound of horn amplifiers. They, they first off, with a horn, you're gonna, unless you have an incredibly large horn, you're not gonna get much in the way of horn-loaded bass out of the thing. So we're talking mostly horn-loaded tweeters and mid-ranges. And um, boy, you know, we can build some compression drivers that'll blow the doors off dynamically off of a horn-loaded driver if that's what you're looking for. But in my opinion, I think Horns um, just generally aren't that great sounding. And I imagine that most companies don't want to invest in something that A, they don't believe sounds that great, and B, that uh, require quite a bit of cabinetry and you know baffle changes to make them work. I think it's a lot easier to do it with just efficient, dynamic drivers. I mean, using no horns and efficient drivers, we can design something that's 98 dB. I mean, a lot of Wilson stuff, they don't use horns, and a lot of Wilson stuff is very, or used to be anyway, I don't think they are so much anymore, but they used to be very efficient, and plenty of people do very efficient loudspeakers, so it doesn't have to be that way, but that's my best guess. All right, thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.